Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, mic check, mic check.
Hello everyone, happy annular solar eclipse day. Thanks for joining us this morning. Now, whether you're watching from the Permian Basin, San Angelo, or even Albaline, welcome. Now, we've got a lot of things in store for you today. This is going to be a spectacular day for the annular eclipse. You're going to want to stick around, and we are going to bring you full coverage as well as all eclipse-related items and things to kind of show you. You want to make sure you stay tuned and keep watching. And for those looking out at the eclipse we have a camera set up that will protect you safely to watch it so if you are watching streaming this is going to protect your eyes but if you're out we have a couple of explainers to go ahead and show you today and that's not all we've even brought in our news west nine reporters tyler dupnik jason foreign and meteorologist dan grisby they're all over covering things at the museum of the southwest giving us live updates on today's events let's go ahead and check in and see how things are doing Tyler, how's it looking out there right now? Yeah, Aurora, good morning to you and everyone watching here. Um, it is a picturesque morning here at the Museum of the Southwest in Midland. We're at the Blake more planetarium and there are people all over the place out here. I'm going to step aside. Maybe you can see some people. We have tents uh, down this side. Uh, Texas Tech uh, Physics is here. Uh, the McDonald Observatory is here. There are just a bunch of people all over the place. You have telescopes out. Everyone obviously very excited. Um, I haven't got a chance to look up at the eclipse yet, but I know it is just beginning. Uh, like I said, there's plenty of energy around here. There's people coming, walking inside uh, the Blakemore Planetarium right now as well. And it's a packed house here. Um, Jason Freund is out here as well with us. Jason, what is it like for you right now as you kind of take in this scene? Well, thank you very much, Tyler. Again, as you said before, happy Eclipse Day. And yes, it indeed, it is a very beautiful day out here right now. There's a lot of different people out here. I'm out in front of the Children's Museum, actually, and they have a lot of different eclipse-related activi eclipse activities for all the young ones out here in the Permian Basin right now. There's a mural out there where you can, uh, where you can uh, d do the difference between the sizes of what if the Earth was the size of a lollipop and you compare it to a mural of the sun out there. We got a lot of activities out here for people of all ages out here, right? Right now but we're not alone out here right now as we do have Daniel Grigsby out here right now here at the Museum of the Southwest what's going on right now Dan yeah thank you Jason I'm out here at the Museum of the Southwest the Blakemore Planetarium behind the Texas Tech uh, tent as well as the McDonald Observatory tent there's a lot of people of all ages the um, the uh, <coughs> eclipse has actually already started I looked at it a second ago uh, with the special prote eye protection and you can see the moon is starting to eclipse the sun from the north. So uh, pretty exciting out here. I'm going to go ahead and send it back to Aurora in the studio. Yeah, we can see quite a lot of people, probably a couple thousand people out here at least at this moment. Um, so a lot of people. Uh, we're going to send it to Aurora in the studio, though. Um, so, Aurora, what do you have for us? Yeah, you know, Dan, I'm so happy you're out there with everyone, and you were able to see it as it's starting already with some proper eyewear. Now, we do have a little fun thing that I went ahead and created to kind of view the solar eclipse safely. So this is a shoe box and you know the moon's gonna cross right over the sun but the sun is still going to shine so we're gonna see that ring of fire so you do have to view it safely and that's us here on earth viewing it safely so with this shoe box i went ahead and cut two holes on the side and then the sun is going to shine right through here so if you went ahead and did this project this is how you're going to look at it so your back is going to be facing the sun and you're going to look right through that hole and then the paper that you put inside of there that's where the sun is going to shine. So empty inside the box, and we are excited to go ahead and use this. If you did do it, and if you want to go ahead and do it, you still have time. It doesn't take that long. Here is an explainer in a video that I went ahead and built this shoe box viewer for the annular solar eclipse. I'm excited about this annular solar eclipse, and you want to view it by protecting your eyes with special glasses, or you can also do a DIY project, which is what we're gonna do today. So I went ahead and colored some things, cut it out. We kind of have a resemblance of what the annular solar eclipse is. So the moon is gonna cover up the sun. It's gonna get dark for a little bit. And that's us on earth. <laughs> and we are gonna see the shadow as it does cross over the sun. So you can just kind of decorate it and just kind of have fun with it. You only need a few items that 
to go ahead and build this DIY project. So what I have here is a shoe box. You can take an old shoe box. You can also use a cereal box, but we're gonna go ahead and use a shoe box today. And of course, make sure it's empty. And then you could decorate it, you know, any way you want to color it. And then you also would need some foil, a pencil, tape, a piece of paper, and then some scissors. All right, so now that we have our supplies, we have our pencil, foil, our paper, scissors, tape, and that shoe box, we are going to create our own DIY solar eclipse viewer. Now, viewing the solar eclipse, the annular solar eclipse this weekend is going to be amazing. So you're gonna cut out two small holes on one side of the box, just like that. We are going to be able to do this. You're going to watch me do it. So if I could do it, I know you can too. And then you'll take your piece of foil, add the tape to it. And there's no particular order you have to do this. We're just going to make sure we cross off all the steps. So you do want to make sure you attach the foil to one of the holes on the box. That is very important because that's where we're going to view the annular eclipse through the other hole that does not have the foil. And then you wanna take a pencil that you have, and then you wanna poke that small hole into the foil. Then your piece of paper, you're gonna attach that to the back of the box. We're gonna go ahead and kind of measure it out. So it's good to kind of measure that bottom of the box out and then slide that piece of paper into the back of the box. You wanna add the lid to the top. We wanna to make sure that it is dark in there besides the area where you will view it through. So we could get it kind of really dark, pitch black a little bit in there. So once you create your box with your shoe box and your annular solar eclipse viewer, you will put your back to the sun and you'll look through the open hole. Again, where the foil is, that's where the sun will shine through. So the light will pass through the hole that you poke the foil with on the back of the box and you see where the sunbeam is, that's where the sun will start to shine through on that piece of paper that's in the back of the box. And then once the moon does come in front of the sun, we'll start to see the moon shadow during the annular eclipse this Saturday. So you'll be able to safely watch the event unfold. I'm excited about this. I hope you are too. So now that we've kind of seen a little bit of an explainer, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. And if I could do it, I know you can too. And again, there's no particular order you have to do it in. Just make sure that you do have the paper in the back of the box and the foil over one of the holes and another hole able to view the annular eclipse. Now let's go ahead and do it. All right, so that's exciting. And I know you could do it because you're going to watch me do it and it's a DIY so we're just gonna have fun with it again decorate your box and let's go so first thing we need to do we're gonna get our pieces of paper and then we're just gonna kind of hand it right there and we want to measure out the bottom of the box this is where the paper is gonna go so we're gonna go ahead and measure it out let's go ahead and do it this way you'll take your pencil and just trace the bottom of your box go I know you all could do it it's gonna be fun and you're gonna protect your eyes okay there we go all right so went ahead and did that step now we're gonna go and cut it out So this is going to be a fun time, once in a lifetime. Coming in areas here in West Texas is going to cross right through Midland and Odessa. So this is exciting for us to go ahead and have the opportunity to view the annular eclipse. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut in this paper. And again, this is what's going to go on the bottom of your box. Let's go ahead and set it aside. And then you are going to take your paper and put your tape on it. So it should fit right in if my measurements were right. Okay. And it's just kind of easier to pre-tape it before you put it in the box. There we go. I'm excited. I can't wait to use this. 
and I can't wait to see that it's going to work because we are all awesome and we are going to do this ourselves. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put the pieces of paper right into the box at the bottom where we trace out. So there we go. And it fits. There we go. So this is where we're going to kind of view it once we close the box up. And then you could grab some extra tape if you need to, just to kind of make sure that it's down. And then make sure that it's flat in there. Okay, so then that's when we close the box. And I already cut out the holes that we need to cut. So you're going to cut out two holes on the side of the box that's on the opposite side of the paper. So again, papers at the bottom, see it right here. And then you're going to cut the holes right there. Now, one of the holes you are going to cover with your piece of foil. So I did pre-measure the foil at the size of the box before I went ahead and cut it. So you just need regular foil and most of the stuff you could find laying around your house. I know I have extra shoe boxes at home. Hopefully you do too, so you don't have to go out and buy new pairs of shoes. But again, you can also do this project with a cereal box as well. So we're gonna take the foil, we're gonna add the tape to it. So you just kind of add it like that. And you don't have to go in all the exact orders, just make sure you get all the steps done <laughs> so that your box does come out great and you can view the annular eclipse without any eye damage because that's the point of it. You never want to look directly at the eclipse. You don't want to look directly at the sun um, because you can get eye damage. So this is a fun way to just kind of do something that we could view the annular eclipse in a safe way. So now that we got the tape on to the foil, we're gonna go ahead and put it over one side of the shoe box. So just tape that down, try to get it flat. There we go. And again, if you need more tape, you can always tape more down. You can just, I'm gonna put a little extra tape right there. And that's perfect. Okay. So right here, you do see one side has a foil and then one side has the open hole. And this is where you're going to view it. You're going to get your pencil, one of your other items that you do have. Again, we have all this at home. And then you are going to poke a hole right there. You see it? So once the hole is poked, that's where the sun is going to go through. And you are going to look right directly into here and then inside you can't really see the paper you want it nice and dark in there i do have a hole in my box i'm gonna go ahead and cover that up probably with some paper or some extra tape or pieces of the box that i cut out just to kind of make sure it's still dark in there but then once the sun does come through the foil it will shine into the paper that's in the bottom of the box so see it was that easy if i could do it you could do it too. It's going to be so much fun this Saturday. I hope everyone has ways to view the annual eclipse safely. And if you want to go ahead and try this out, I do encourage you to do so. It'll be a fun activity to do together. And we'll also have links to other activities that you could do as well on our website. Okay, that was exciting. And again, it does not take that long. You could do it. You still have time. We have about 55 minutes for the whole totality. So take a look, you know, you just have fun with it. Color some papers. If you have a black shoe box, I just went ahead and printed out some free printables online that just kind of dealt with space, the moon, the sun, and then just have fun coloring it. You can even cut out little items they have even for eclipse in the annual eclipse. So it's lots of fun to do and it's fairly easy. And then the foil, you know, it's really a small piece. So if you only have a little bit left at home, you still could do it. You don't have to run out to the store. And then again, viewing the annular eclipse is the most important part for our safety. So if you have some safety 
glasses. That is the best way to go ahead and use it, especially if you're outside, if you don't have time to go ahead and make this box. Now it's just about 54 minutes left for the whole totality. And you know, for those of you out there, Tyler, how are things looking? We're gonna go ahead and check in with you. How's it going out there, Tyler? It's come a long way. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Aurora. As I mentioned earlier, we have a bunch of people out here. I'm with Bruce Moore right now. And Bruce, who are you with today? I'm with the West Texas Astronomers and the Museum of the Southwest. Okay, awesome. So uh, how exciting is it for the Museum of the Southwest to host an event like this Eclipse Day and have all these people out here? Oh, it is really wonderful. We just got a new projection system in our dome that we're premiering today. We also have a new exhibition in our classroom that we're premiering as well. Uh, Space Nation is here as well. They're a group that's out at the uh, air terminal. They're doing some activities out there. So it's, it's a real lot of fun, and it, we got a lot of wonderful people here today. Yeah, definitely. And in, with the West Texas Astronomers, how exciting of a day is it for you guys? I'm sure you obviously you guys are big fans of space and everything else, and then a day like today is, is pretty rare. Yeah, it is, and they're also going to be an annual eclipse. I mean, no, total eclipse next year. Yeah. But it's real exciting for us because we, we get to interact with the people and, and you know, have, fun, have fun with them and show them sunspots on our sunspotter and all that stuff and educate the public and, we, and provide a lot of information that we don't normally get the opportunity to do. Yeah, definitely. And of course, you mentioned the public, a bunch of people out here. You see all the kids running around. How, how cool is it? Maybe how much is it, you know, the hope that maybe these kids are inspired today to maybe pursue, you know, a further, uh, you know, career or, or pursue, you know, at, you know space and stuff uh, beyond? Well, we'll hope we'll have a bunch of future scientists and a bunch of future astronauts. So we'll just see. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and the solar eclipse, obviously. How cool is it that you know it's it's an anticipation? You know, it, it, it kind of builds to the totality of it. Right now, we're just starting to see it happen. Can you kind of speak on the anticipation? How cool that is? Uh, it's it's amazing. People just come in all excited and wanting to know about it all the time. And it's uh, here at the planetarium, and it's just really exciting for us. We get all sorts of information. All right. Definitely. Well, thanks, Bruce, for the time. I appreciate it, and you know, have a lot of fun today. I know it's been—I right. know it's a lot of excitement. Live streaming on live streaming on our YouTube page for the museum as well. So sounds we'll good. see how that goes. Yeah. You know, technology's not always what it should be, but we're yeah. doing our best. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Thanks, All right. Bruce. Appreciate the time again. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, that was Bruce Moore again um, with the Museum of the Southwest. Uh, now, obviously, with the annual eclipse, you can't just watch it with your eyes. You have to be safe in doing so. We're, um, you've obviously been tracking it today so far. And again, it's important to know that you have to look up uh, without, you know, we have, you have to have protection, obviously. So Hunter Alcacer is going to tell us more about that side of today's excitement. Yeah, usually when you go outside, you want to protect your eyes from the sun, you put on something like these, you know, normal sunglasses that you would find at the store or anywhere else. And that, why, that may be enough to protect you from the sun normally, but when it comes to a solar eclipse, that's a different story. Normal sunglasses will not protect your eyes effectively while watching a solar eclipse. And you especially don't want to watch one with nothing on your eyes. You definitely don't want to watch it with the naked eye. Um, you'll get a lot of um, solar radiation, and that can cause a lot of damage to your eyes. So even, even brief viewing of the, of the eclipse is very harmful to the eyes. You can have long-lasting effects, lifelong effects at sometimes. Dr. Arias also says that because we don't have any pain receptors in the back of our eyes, like we do in other parts of our bodies, you're not going to notice that any harm is being done because you're not feeling any pain. You, you'll get a, a type of uh, retinopathy, solar retinopathy in the back. Uh, that can last uh, a lifetime. Uh, you'll get a lot of scarring on the back if, if that happens. Dr. Arias also mentions that if you looked at a solar eclipse with the naked eye for even just a little bit, he recommends that you contact your local optometrist, set up an appointment, and get your eyes checked out. That way you could be safe than sorry and address any possible eye damage as quickly as possible. In Midland, for News West 9, Hunter Alcacer. All right, thanks, Hunter. Again, you need that protection to look at uh, the eclipse today. Uh, very exciting stuff, but make sure you do it safely. Jason Freund, of course, with us here in this coverage of the Museum of the Southwest as well. Jason, I know we have an interview standing by. Uh, who do you have to talk to, and how exciting is it uh, to bring all this to everybody? All right, well, all right, well, thank you very much, Tyler. I'm out here right now. I got Justin Vother out here right now. First off, Justin, how are you doing? How are you enjoying today's on Eclipse Day right now? This is incredible. So we're part of the science station, and we get a chance to ask kids, like, how large is the sun? And you have no idea. Like, <laughs> the answers range from 10 times to bajillion, which is a word I've never heard before. 
<laughs> so it's fun. Now, I also see that you're carrying around a pot full of lollipops right now. Yeah. Can you explain what the point of the lollipops is? Well, there's more than just handing out free candy. So what we did is we started with the dum-dum, and we said if this is the size of the earth, which is about three quarters of an inch, how big would the sun be? Now, it's behind the camera here, but we actually have a six foot ten mural of the sun done the scale. And the museum is having people sign their name onto it. And it's just, again, to watch kids be able to hold that up and see the scale is just phenomenal. Now, how important is it for you guys to make sure to, that the younger generation, all these kids out here, are educated about all, of, all things Eclipse? Oh, it's incredible. So the idea behind the Eclipse is I think it gives us a chance to know scale. Like, how big are we in the universe? How big are, is the solar system even? And so it gives them a chance to think about, you know, their place in it and also exploration. Uh, we were talking about going back to the moon here pretty soon, or obviously, you know, into Mars. So they can be a part of that. They are the generation that's going to take us there. Mm -hmm. And what other, what, and just what other exhibits do you guys have right now for the kids to enjoy today? Oh my gosh. So we actually have it set up as a station where the kids can, can come and go and enjoy. Um, one is a stop motion, and they do frame by frame where they can actually look at the, the, how fast the eclipse goes past, and they can recreate it. Uh, another one is looking at the way that it's created. How do they do shadows? And then the last one for younger kids, well, young at heart too, is they can make a chalk representation of an eclipse. They can see that annular ring coming out. All right, well, thank you very much, Justin. Now, we are coming minutes away from the eclipse, but right now we have a, we have a little bit of something for you prepared by Daniel Grigsby right now. Let's watch that right now. Well, we have an extremely rare event that's going to occur uh, today. We've got the... All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, man. That's 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 I might pull you again for another quick one about... Yeah, so we can see the path that it's going to take going from Nevada into Utah down to Texas, the southwestern portion of Texas. Maybe you don't live directly in Midland or Odessa. Well, it's still going to be a sight to see. In fact, 80% of the sun is going to be covered up by this eclipse for the entire state of Texas and New Mexico. So especially if you live close to Midland and Odessa, it's practically going to look almost the exact same. So definitely something to be uh, worth looking for if you have the proper eye wear protection. Now, what is an eclipse? Well, an eclipse occurs whenever the moon, which revolves around the earth, passes in front of the sun and the earth. So the moon's going to be in between the earth and the sun in almost a straight linear path. And the moon casts a shadow over the earth. Now, this happens pretty frequently uh, across the earth, but for it to happen at our exact location is fairly rare. In fact, we're not going to see another one for another 100 plus years. So it is going to be a rare once in a lifetime event. You certainly don't want to miss it. Now, this specific solar eclipse is called an annular eclipse. That means that this, the sun isn't going to be completely covered up. The moon is going to be a little bit further away from the earth. And what that means is that it's not going to be able to cover up the entire sun as opposed to a total eclipse, which is when you can't see the sun at all. So you do want to wear your eye protection, the proper eye protection, that is not just sunglasses, and we're going to see an annular eclipse that's going to last for about three hours. It's going to start around 10, 18 a.m. for Midland and Odessa, a little bit sooner in the day to the northwest and later in the day to the southeast. The maximum eclipse is going to be around, it's going to occur around 1145 a.m. And then the partial eclipse, which is when the moon starts to pass away from the sun and, and the sky, is going to end around 121 p.m. for Midland and Odessa, that is. So we've got a solid three hours of looking at it with the proper eye protection. And the best time, of course, is going to be right around 1145. So be sure to go out there and definitely don't miss it. All right, well, you've heard about how all the kids out here are getting educated on the eclipse. You've heard of everything that Museum of the Southwest is doing out here on Eclipse Day. But we got more coming at you. We got a little bit more insight from Daniel Grigsby right now. Let's hear from right now what you got out there, Dan. Yeah, thank you, Jason. I'm out here with Larry V. Hill uh, from, where'd you drive from? Drove down from Lubbock. Lubbock, Look. Texas. How far was that drive? It was a couple hours, like 120 miles, something like that. A couple too hours. Bad. So you yeah. came down here for the eclipse. What does the eclipse mean to you exactly? Well, it's, I don't know. We just, we're just, my sister's in town visiting to, to see the eclipse. But we had to come a little further south to see the good part. So we're kind of geeks. We went to school for engineering and stuff. So we wanted to see the eclipse. 
Very nice. Well, we can see the eclipse is starting uh, right now, actually. It's, it's projected to peak around 1145, so it should be uh, pretty cool. Anything else you want to say or comment about the eclipse? Nope. Just hi to all my friends in Midland. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and send it to Tyler. Uh, Tyler's, um, he did a package on the local economy's effects on uh, the eclipse. So we're going to go ahead and toss to that. We know in Texas the stars at night are big and bright, but on Saturday, the daytime star will be all the buzz. It's an exciting thing, right, to, you know, bring people that will, um, that will see our community. Discover Odessa promotes the city to other communities, and they are seeing the initial economic impact from this opportunity, says Director Monica Schauner. I know that we've spoken to hotels, and we have already 163 rooms that have been booked just for the solar eclipse. Among, uh, spread out of, with about five or six properties. That reality means keeping our community informed. We're just trying to prepare our restaurants. We're trying to prepare the community, um, you know, just to be aware that there may be an influx of people. And obviously several of our larger organizations are, are having these viewings. We have these NASA representatives uh, showing up at UTPB to launch those balloons. and. You know, that's just not something that happens every day, so we're excited about that. With West Texas set to attract viewers. It is good. You're going to have more people here in Odessa that will be eating in our restaurants, spending their money in our retail businesses. The hope is the economic impact goes beyond just this weekend. We want them to have a great experience. We want them to come back. They felt welcome. They felt like there was an engaged community. I mean, that's a part of quality of life. And so, yeah, we're excited to, to have visitors um, show up and then um, you know, give, entertain them and, and give them a positive experience, so. Well, as you've seen all the packages, everyone is out there live having a great time. And if you still have not made it outside and you want to go ahead, so you still have time. we got about 42 minutes for the whole totality. So just to recap, I know Dan kind of explained it a little bit, but guess what? This is exciting because the moon is going to get in front of the sun and it's going to create that ring of fire. And that's why we're really expressing how safely you have to view this eclipse. So if you made the shoebox or even have the protective eyewear every time you want to take a peek at the sun just to kind of see what's going on like it's already just starting to peak in areas we have about 42 minutes left and you can already see the moon coming in front of the sun so we're going to see the total totality here right here in Midland and Odessa in areas around it's going to create that ring of fire so here is kind of the path again what Dan kind of explained a little bit earlier now with the path of the annular eclipse it is crossing straight through us here in Midland and Odessa and pretty much it's going to land through San Antonio and then also through the state of Texas pass through Corpus Christi but as you can see 80 percent you'll still be able to see it outside of the this path for the annular eclipse. So you still want to make sure you are viewing the annular eclipse safely, no matter where you are in the state and where you are in the country as well. So again, how lucky are we if you are here and if you drove here, just like the interview Dan did, to come and view this annular eclipse just around this path. So whether you're in San Angelo, whether you are in Albaline, or even if you are here in Midland and Odessa, even through the path, the you have the most spectacular view. Now, a couple of the state parks also have great views as well. So if you took this day to go ahead and he head out to any of the state parks in that path, we do have a couple of them that's passing for us here in West Texas. So areas even near Monahans, if you're out there viewing it today, you have the perfect view. And then even near areas in San Angelo State Park, and then also in Big Springs. So all across the area, we are excited to go ahead and view this annular eclipse. This is a lifetime experience, and I hope all of you are really having lots of fun with it. So. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the tracker right now. We have a NASA tracker that's showing exactly where the moon is in the path. So right now it's still mainly further to the north in Nevada. So that's why we're only seeing a little bit of the peak here for us in Millen and Odessa coming across the sun. If you had a chance to go ahead and look at it, but it will start to make its way to us. We got about 40 more minutes before we have the whole totality of this annular solar eclipse. So I am excited. I cannot wait. Again, that is another view of where the moon is crossing over the sun. 
And again, it will create that ring of fire. So that's the moment we're waiting for. Again, we got 40 more minutes until we will see that ring of fire right here in Milan and Odessa and those areas that are in that path of the totality for us here in West Texas. Again, all of you in San Angelo, Abilene, we are in that path, so it's going to be a great time. And, you know, let's go ahead and just send big things right here. We're going to take a closer look. So 39 more minutes we have left. So it is going to be a great time out there. That moon will start to cross over. So I am excited. I'm so excited out there. Now we are going to go ahead and just kind of welcome you all here and we will be right back. So go ahead and have fun. We'll be right back. Stay with us as you are streaming and watching us and having a great time. Hello everyone and happy annular solar eclipse day. I am excited for today. Thank you for joining us. And whether you're watching from the Permian Basin, San Angelo, or even in Albaline, we got a couple of things in store for you today as we cover this year's spectacular annular eclipse. You're going to want to stick around because we are going to bring you full coverage of all things that is going to explain the eclipse and just kind of take a look around as well. So it's going to be a great time. And for those of you wanting a better look at the eclipse, we even have a camera set up that is protected and you could safely watch it. So if you don't have a chance to kind of get outdoors and you're inside and you want to safely watch it even as you're outdoors you can go ahead and take a look at that camera as well that countdown 36 more minutes left until the full totality and that's not all we've even brought in our news west nine reporters tyler dupnik jason Freund, and meteorologist dan grigsby they're covering all things at the museum of the southwest and giving us live updates of today's event so they're going to check we're going to go ahead and check in with tyler and see how things are doing out there tyler how is it? Is it fun? How's the environment? I know people are excited and I'm pretty sure you are too. So how's it going out there, Tyler? 
Yeah, Aurora, it's really all of those things. We've been out here since 10 o'clock this morning, and you know, it's, parking was so limited. People were parking in the streets. It's Eclipse Day here at the Museum of the Southwest, a really unique experience that us here in West Texas get a chance to be a part of. Um, like I said, there's people all over the place, people continuing to flock in. Uh, we have several uh, tents along the side over here, the West Texas Astronomers, Texas Tech Physics, the McDonald Observatory, and, of course, the Blakemore Planetarium right behind me. People were uh, walking in there as well right now. So, again, plenty of activity. It's, it's really a, an interesting setting, too, because you walk around and it's just a bunch of people with their safety glasses on just staring up at the sun. And it's just something you, don't, you never see. Uh, it's so unique and it's, it's so cool to be a part of it. And, uh, and it's just you know, a thrill to be out here. And, and, and the anticipation just continues to build as we get closer and closer. Jason Ford is out here as well. Jason, how are you feeling about all this right now? Well, Tyler, like you were saying, this is truly a unique experience out here at the Museum of the Southwest. And we have a lot of people out here right out in front of the Children's Museum. I'm seeing people here sitting out here waiting for this one. They brought towels out here. They got food out here. They got snacks out here. Everyone is waiting in anticipation for the eclipse to come down. Now, make sure you got yourself some protective sunglasses or some protective eye gear. Something like this may be able to help you out a little bit if you're trying to look at the eclipse today. And, of course, right here at the Children's Museum at the Museum of the Southwest, there's a lot of things going down to make sure that the young minds of this generation are educated on just what the eclipse is, how rare these things are, and just how important it is, and kind of just how cool it is to look up at the eclipse and see it, because it truly can be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But I know we got a lot more stuff going down here at the Museum of the Southwest on this beautiful day today, and Daniel Grigsby's going to have a lot more to talk about over, over where he's at right now. What you got for us, Dan? Yeah, I'm out here at the Blakemore Planetarium too, Jason, and we can see a lot of people are out here. We've talked to several people from several different states across the nation, so people have been traveling far to view this event, and we can see that it's already begun. The uh, sky is starting to get a little bit darker as the moon eclipses the sun. Feels like it's maybe early evening at this point in time, but it's high noon, really. So, a uh, very unique event. Again, a lot of people out here, all different ages. Uh, we've got kids running around, a lot of uh, people. The uh, McDonald Observatory tent right behind me. We've got Texas Tech Physics tent as well. Um, so, again, a lot of people have come out uh, to view this very, very unique event. Aurora. All right, Dan, it looks like you guys are having lots of fun out there with everyone. And, you know, I'm having fun here in the studio, too, and I had lots of fun creating this annular solar eclipse viewer with a shoebox. Now, you have these items around. I know you have an extra shoebox. I have some paper. I colored if you have a coloring book just to kind of make it fun. But again, viewing the annular solar eclipse, you want to do it safely. If you don't have any safety goggles, you could make this shoebox. It does not take long. We got 32 more minutes until the whole totality when the moon will come in front of the sun and create that ring of fire. Again, you don't want to look directly at the event. So when I created the shoebox, this is where you would view, where you would look through it and you see this kind of foil right here. It has a hole that's where the sun is going to shine through. So if you made the shoebox or if you want to go ahead and make it, this is how you view it. You're going to put your back to the sun and towards the eclipse. The sun and the moon will shine right through that hole and you're going to look right through there. And then there's a piece of paper in there that's going to show the whole event. So you want to view it safely. You won't miss it if you make this shoebox. And again, we are also tracking it with our camera. But if you want to go ahead and make this item, you can. And you don't have to have much around the house but a shoebox, some foil, pencil, and then also some paper. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what I created because you could do it too. I'm excited about this annular solar eclipse and you want to view it by protecting your eyes with special glasses or you could also do a DIY project, which is what we're going to do today. So I went ahead and colored some things, cut it out. We kind of have a resemblance of what the annular solar eclipse is. So the moon is going to cover up the sun. It's going to get dark for a little bit. And that's us on Earth. <laughs> and we are going to see the shadow as it does cross over the sun. So you can just kind of decorate it and just kind of have fun with it. You only need a few items that to go ahead and build this DIY project. So what I have here is a shoe box. You can take an old shoe box. You can also use a cereal box, but we're gonna go ahead and use a shoe box today. And of course, make sure it's empty. And then you could decorate it, you know, any way you want to color it. And then you also would need some foil, a pencil, tape, a piece of paper, and then some scissors. 
All right, so now that we have our supplies, we have our pencil, foil, our paper, scissors, tape, and that shoe box, we are going to create our own DIY solar eclipse viewer. Now, viewing the solar eclipse, the annular solar eclipse this weekend is going to be amazing. So you're gonna cut out two small holes on one side of the box, just like that. We are gonna be able to do this. You're gonna watch me do it. So if I could do it, I know you can too. And then you'll take your piece of foil, add the tape to it. And there's no particular order you have to do this. We're just gonna make sure we cross off all the steps. So you do wanna make sure you attach the foil to one of the holes on the box. That is very important because that's where we're gonna view the annular eclipse through the other hole that does not have the foil. And then you wanna take a pencil that you have and then you wanna poke that small hole into the foil. Then your piece of paper, you're gonna attach that to the back of the box. We're gonna go ahead and kind of measure it out. So it's good to kind of measure that bottom of the box out and then slide that piece of paper into the back of the box. You wanna add the lid to the top. We wanna to make sure that it is dark in there besides the area where you will view it through so we could get it kind of really dark, pitch black a little bit in there. So once you create your box with your shoe box and your annular solar eclipse viewer, you will put your back to the sun and you'll look through the open hole. Again, where the foil is, that's where the sun will shine through. So the light will pass through the hole that you poke the foil with on the back of the box and you see where the sunbeam is, that's where the sun will start to shine through on that piece of paper that's in the back of the box. And then once the moon does come in front of the sun, we'll start to see the moon shadow during the annular eclipse this Saturday. So you'll be able to safely watch the event unfold. I'm excited about this. I hope you are too. So now that we've kind of seen a little bit of an explainer, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. And if I could do it, I know you can too. And again, there's no particular order you have to do it in. Just make sure that you do have the paper in the back of the box and the foil over one of the holes and another hole able to view the annular eclipse. Now let's go ahead and do it. All right, so that's exciting. And I know you could do it because you're gonna watch me do it and it's a DIY, so we're just gonna have fun with it. Again, decorate your box and let's go. So first thing we need to do, we're gonna get our pieces of paper and then we're just gonna kinda hand it right there. And we wanna measure out the bottom of the box. This is where the paper is gonna go. So we're gonna go ahead and measure it out. Let's go ahead and do it this way. You'll take your pencil and just trace the bottom of your box. Go. I know you all could do it. It's gonna be fun. And you're gonna protect your eyes. Okay, there we go. All right, so went ahead and did that step. Now we're gonna go and cut it out. So this is gonna be a fun time, once in a lifetime. Coming in areas here in West Texas is gonna cross right through Midland and Odessa. So this is exciting for us to go ahead and have the opportunity to view the annular eclipse. So I'm just gonna ahead and cut in this paper. And again, this is what's gonna go on the bottom of your box. Let's go ahead and set it aside. And then you are going to take your paper and put your tape on it. So it should fit right in if my measurements were right. Okay. And it's just kind of easier to pre-tape it before you put it in the box. There we go. I'm excited. I can't wait to use this and I can't wait to see that it's going to work because we are all awesome and we are gonna do this ourselves. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the pieces of paper right into the box at the bottom where we trace out. So there we go and it fits, there we go. 
So this is where we're gonna kind of view it once we close the box up. And then you could grab some extra tape if you need to, just to kind of make sure that it's down. And then make sure that it's flat in there. Okay, so then that's when we close the box. And I already cut out the holes that we need to cut. So you're gonna cut out two holes on the side of the box that's on the opposite side of the paper. So again, paper's at the bottom, you see it right here. And then you're gonna cut the holes right there. Now, one of the holes you are gonna cover with your piece of foil. So I did pre-measure the foil at the size of the box before I went ahead and cut it. So you just need regular foil and most of the stuff you could find laying around your house. I know I have extra shoe boxes at home. Hopefully you do too, so you don't have to go out and buy new pairs of shoes. But again, you can also do this project with a cereal box as well. So we're gonna take the foil, we're gonna add the tape to it. So you just kinda add it like that. And you don't have to go in all the exact orders, just make sure you get all the steps done <laughs> so that your box does come out great and you can view the annular eclipse without any eye damage because that's the point of it. You never wanna look directly at the eclipse. You don't wanna look directly at the sun um, because you can get eye damage. So this is a fun way to just kind of do something that we could view the annular eclipse in a safe way. So now that we got the tape on to the foil, we're gonna go ahead and put it over one side of the shoe box. So just tape that down, try to get it flat. There we go. And again, if you need more tape, you can always tape more down. You can just, I'm gonna put a little extra tape right there. And that's perfect. Okay. So right here, you do see one side has a foil and then one side has the open hole. And this is where you're going to view it. You're going to get your pencil, one of your other items that you do have. Again, we have all this at home. And then you are going to poke a hole right there. You see it? So once the hole is poked, that's where the sun is gonna go through. And you are going to look right directly into here and then inside you can't really see the paper you want it nice and dark in there i do have a hole in my box i'm gonna go ahead and cover that up probably with some paper or some extra tape or pieces of the box that i cut out just to kind of make sure it's still dark in there but then once the sun does come through the foil it will shine into the paper that's in the bottom of the box so see it was that easy if i could do it you could do it too. It's gonna to be so much fun this Saturday. I hope everyone has ways to view the annual eclipse safely. And if you wanna go ahead and try this out, I do encourage you to do so. It'll be a fun activity to do together. And we'll also have links to other activities that you could do as well on our website. Well, that was exciting. Here is that shoe box again. And that moon is starting to cross over the sun. We got about 21 more minutes into the full totality. I'm gonna go ahead and toss it back out to Tyler just to kind of explain to you how it's looking out there. Tyler, how is it going out there? And how are you feeling? Yeah, Aurora, I'm here with Rachel Fuchel. And Rachel, who are you with uh, this, this morning? I'm here with McDonald Observatory. Okay, sounds good. Of course, you guys, I mean, this is you're right in your neck of the woods. How exciting is a day like this? Uh, everybody's excited about it. This is, uh, this is kind of like Christmas, New Year's, and. Halloween all wrapped up into one for us. And yeah, so we're yeah, right. yeah, definitely. And I know they're, how cool to see all these people out here just soaking in this excitement on a day like today. I am really excited to see all these people here um, getting excited about the sun, getting excited about astronomy, and having a look at a really unique event. Yeah, definitely. And then I feel like, is it the hope that you see, I mean, there's a lot of kids running around too with their families. Is, that, is the hope on a day like this that these kids are inspired, right? They see something like this, they want to go into astronomy or be a scientist or stuff like that. Oh yeah, that's definitely the hope. We uh, we, we really enjoy engaging with uh, with young people 
and, uh, and and you can see it on their faces when they see the, the view of the sun in the telescope, that that, that is indeed happening. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then, of course, here in Midland, not a cloud in the sky. It's like picturesque weather. You couldn't script better weather today, right? I, I couldn't have asked for better. I tell you, I've had nightmares about the weather. <laughs> so so this, is a, this is a real relief to see such a beautiful day. Yeah, definitely. And then, and then how, how cool is it, the, the fact that the, when the eclipse happens, you know, it's the anticipation just builds. Like right now it's happening, but we still are just waiting and just it's inches closer and closer to that ultimate moment. Yeah, um, when, the, when the moon first sort of cut into the sun, that first contact moment, it's like, it's starting. And now we're just sort of watching it inch across and uh, it's getting closer and closer. That crescent is getting smaller and yeah. it's it more exciting. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks for the time, Rachel, yeah, and uh, have fun today. I know, I know I don't have to tell you to have fun today. I know it's a lot of fun. I think we're all having <laughs> fun today, so yeah. awesome. Thanks for the time. Thanks. So ultimately, once again, you can't, of course, look at the eclipse without protection. Um, so we've been tracking it all day. Make sure you have your safety glasses. Hunter Alcacer has more on the side effects of it all. Yeah, usually when you go outside, you want to protect your eyes from the sun, you put on something like these, you know, normal sunglasses that you would find at the store or anywhere else. And that, why, that may be enough to protect you from the sun normally, but when it comes to a solar eclipse, that's a different story. Normal sunglasses will not protect your eyes effectively while watching a solar eclipse. And you especially don't want to watch one with nothing on your eyes. You definitely don't want to watch it with the naked eye. Um, you'll get a lot of um, solar radiation, and that can cause a lot of damage to your eyes. So even, even brief viewing of the, of the eclipse is very harmful to the eyes. You can have long-lasting effects, lifelong effects at sometimes. Dr. Arias also says that because we don't have any pain receptors in the back of our eyes, like we do in other parts of our bodies, you're not going to notice that any harm is being done because you're not feeling any pain. You, you'll get a, a type of uh, retinopathy, solar retinopathy in the back. Uh, that can last uh, a lifetime. Uh, you'll get a lot of scarring on the back if, if that happens. Dr. Arias also mentions that if you looked at a solar eclipse with the naked eye for even just a little bit, he recommends that you contact your local optometrist, set up an appointment, and get your eyes checked out. That way you could be safe than sorry and address any possible eye damage as quickly as possible. In Midland, for News West 9, Hunter Alcacer. All right, thanks, Hunter. Once again, obviously, a um, bunch of excitement out here right now. And a lot of people do have their safety glasses, which is great to see. Um, and they're all very much observing as, this gives, as the eclipse just continues to build and build towards the totality. Jason Front, of course, with us as well. Jason, who do you have standing by? And I know they're probably excited just as we are. Yeah, a lot of people are excited out here right now. I'm back here with Justin Vata right now. Now, last time we spoke, you said you were out here handing out things and doing doing a lot of experience. Some of the kids. Now, yes. what? How many more people have come approached you just ever since our last discussion? It's been incredible. I've had at least 200 people ask me about like, you know, how does the eclipse work? Where's the moon at relative to the sun? And that's in the last like what 30 minutes. It's been amazing. And you showed me a little bit of an experiment with uh, your with your pot right there, and you showed me a little experiment when it came to the sun and when you came to the little holes. And explain what the experiment was. Oh, very clear. So there's a, there's a concept online that if you use a colander, I'll do my best to kind of show you here. There's holes in the bottom that the light will actually be filtered through it, and you can see the eclipse on the ground. So you'll see a lot of people walk around with colanders to test that experiment out. So we're going to be able to test it in about 10, 15 minutes. And can that experiment work with like many any other things or any things like uh, besides a colander or anything else right now? So the one I haven't tested, so I'll be honest with you on that one, is uh, leaves. So supposedly the shadow from the leaves is supposed to do the same thing. But I'm, I'm open. I'm going to figure it out. So. All right. And uh, what other experiments can people do like at home if like another eclipse rolls by in a few years? What kind of experiments can people do like with colanders or something fun with the e eclipse? Oh, I love you're asking that question because actually all of our stations we make for free to be able to access. Uh, one thing in particular is stop motion. So you can do this with a regular camera. There's a lot of free apps for it, like stop motion movie making. You can see frame for frame how the moon moves across the sun. That's a really fun one to do. It gets kids thinking about like how, how the sun's moving across it. Uh, another one I love to do is think about scale. So if you have a globe, let's say any kind of globe from a school or about that size, or even a basketball, a softball is about the same size as the moon, mm -hmm. but it's 30 feet away. So right. a lot of times we think the moon's really close. That's a fun way to think about it. So see if you can get the shadow of a softball onto a basketball from 30 feet away. All right. Well, thank you very much, Justin. Now, we are just minutes away. As Justin said, we're about 10 minutes away from the eclipse dropping down. And we got a little more insight from Daniel Grigsby about what's going to be going down during this eclipse. 
Well, we have an extremely rare event that's going to occur uh, today. We've got a annular solar eclipse that's going to pass directly through Midland and Odessa. We can see the path that it's going to take going from Nevada and Utah down to Texas, the southwestern portion of Texas. Maybe you don't live directly in Midland or Odessa. Well, it's still going to be a sight to see. In fact, 80% of the sun is going to be covered up by this eclipse for the entire state of Texas and New Mexico. So especially if you live close to Midland and Odessa, it's practically going to look almost the exact same. So definitely something to be uh, worth looking for if you have the proper eye wear protection. Now, what is an eclipse? Well, an eclipse occurs whenever the moon, which revolves around the earth, passes in front of the sun and the earth. So the moon's going to be in between the earth and the sun in almost a straight linear path, and the moon casts a shadow over the earth. Now, this happens pretty frequently uh, across the earth, but for it to happen at our exact location is fairly rare. In fact, we're not going to see another one for another 100 plus years. So it is going to be a rare once in a lifetime event. You certainly don't want to miss it. Now, this specific solar eclipse is called an annular eclipse. That means that this, the sun isn't going to be completely covered up. The moon is going to be a little bit further away from the earth. And what that means is that it's not going to be able to cover up the entire sun as opposed to a total eclipse, which is when you can't see the sun at all. So you do want to wear your eye protection, the proper eye protection, that is not just sunglasses. And we're going to see an annular eclipse that's going to last for about three hours. It's going to start around 10, 18 a.m. for Midland and Odessa, a little bit sooner in the day to the northwest and later in the day to the southeast. The maximum eclipse is going to be around, it's going to occur around 1145 a.m. And then the partial eclipse, which is when the moon starts to pass away from the sun and, and the sky, is going to end around 1.21 p.m. for Midland and Odessa, that is. So we've got a solid three hours of looking at it with the proper eye protection. And the best time, of course, is going to be right around 11.45. So be sure to go out there and definitely don't miss it. All right, well, thank you very much, Dan. Now, you may notice it's, well, you may not notice on camera, but it is actually starting to get a little bit darker out here, not as bright as it was before. That's because we are inching ever and ever closer to the eclipse out here at the Museum of the Southwest. So, and we know we got a lot more coming at you right now. Dan, what you got for us? Yeah, Jason, I'm out here with John Morales. John, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hey, um, well, my name's John Morales. I'm a PhD student at Texas Tech studying um, physics and astronomy. So, uh, and I work with Dr. Macron. We're here um, doing a little live stream of the eclipse over here in Midland. Awesome. So what exactly does this eclipse mean to you? Like how special is it would you say it's pretty pretty rare yeah so an eclipse happening in the u.s is actually a pretty rare occurrence the last one was in 2017 but the one before that was like in 1976 so it's not every time where you get an eclipse especially close to where you're at um, and this one's an annular eclipse which is different than a total eclipse uh, annular eclipses mean that the moon is at the furthest point away from the sun so it doesn't completely cover it and that might be a little bit rarer than a total eclipse. I mean, we're lucky in Texas that we get both of them. Yeah, and you said earlier that it's still pretty close to a total eclipse, right? It's like covering up like almost uh, 95. Yeah, 95, 93, 93 to 95 percent. Um, the difference in the size of the moon is about 5 percent. So um, it's it's a minimal difference, but it does make a, a cool like ring of fire effect that you wouldn't get in the total eclipse. Uh, you also won't get to see the, the corona that you would normally in the in a total awesome. eclipse. So you yeah. still want to wear, obviously, the proper eye stuff, yeah. eye protection, yeah. uh, just because some part of the sun is still going to be shown. But we have some pretty cool um, shadows made by the tree. It, act, on, it looks like little crescents, like little moon crescents. So if you go outside uh, and look at the shadows from a tree, it's really cool. I've never seen anything like it before. But yeah, we're out here at the uh, uh, Blakemore Planetarium. Aurora, we're going to toss back to you.
Oh, Dan, it looks so cool out there. And it looks like everyone is enjoying this special event. And I just can't wait for us to really experience the whole totality. But we're already excited about what we're seeing out there. We got about more 11 more minutes until we have the totality. And that's where we'll see that ring of fire. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the path of this annular solar eclipse and where it kind of started. Just out there in the Pacific Ocean, we're over here in the state of Oregon. And then it is going to make its way to us. Now it's passing through Oregon. Again, it's going to pass through Nevada, also through New Mexico before it does actually get to us here in Texas. Now we are starting to see that moon kind of come over the sun a little bit as it's starting to get a little bit closer to us. And then once it starts to get into our viewing area, that's when we'll really start to see that ring of fire occur. So seeing where this circle is, we are underneath that. So areas even in Andrews, we'll start to see it a little bit before us here in Midland and Odessa. So if you're viewing it out in Andrews, you will also be in that path as well. So we have our NASA space tracker and we're tracking it along and the whole totality will be around 1145 for us here in Midland and Odessa. So take a look at that shadow. We're gonna get that moon crossing over the sun, creating that ring of fire for the totality for us here in Midland and Odessa, just around 11.45 this morning. And as you can see, all of you shaded here are also gonna be able to view that totality. So if you're not here in Midland and Odessa, folks out in Big Spring, as well as in La Mesa, Andrews, you'll be able to see it. And then we're passing through San Angelo, and then as we exit near Big Lake. So all over the areas, even at the state parks in San Angelo, also in areas near Monaghan, and as well as Big Spring. Take a look at the camera already we are seeing that moon cross over it is exciting we got about less than 10 minutes i cannot wait and then it is going to cross through corpus so the whole state of texas is really going to be able to see this event and we are in the path of totality which means we are going to see it at 100 percent for us here in Millen and odessa and those out there where dan tyler and jason are are exciting and hopefully we all have our special viewing glasses because it is going to be uh, amazing event and we do have this special camera that is tracking the eclipse so you could go ahead and take a look at it just sit back and watch it and take in this special event and we will be right back with more coverage
Well, I am excited. Hello, everyone. Happy annular solar eclipse day. Thank you for joining us this morning. Now, whether you're watching from the Permian Basin, San Angelo, or even the folks out there in Albaline, we have lots of things in store for you today as we cover this year's spectacular event, this annular eclipse. You're going to want to stick around. We're bringing you full coverage of all things eclipse and eclipse related things for you to sit back and watch. And for those of you wanting a better look and not able to step outside, Side, but one of you is safely make sure you have those safely uh, protective eyewear but you can go ahead and take a look at our camera we are viewing it safely out there and we also have you guys out there the fear we have Tyler Dupnik Jason Freund and meteorologist Dan Grigsby they're having lots of fun out there just having a full coverage for you all so how's it going out there Tyler Yeah, Aurora, it is starting to get a little bit dimmer out here. It definitely, you can, you can just feel it. Um, you, know, you can see, obviously, we're getting very close to totality, so it's starting to get a little bit darker out here. It's really cool. It feels like the anticipation, obviously, has been building and building, and it seems like people are still flowing. We've had a bunch of people out here, so we've been out here since 10 a.m., and it seems like we just continue to see more people file in. Everyone's so excited. Everyone's pretty much looking up at the sky now with their safety glasses or with their safety protection. Um, it's just very exciting. Of course, here in Midland, we're one of a few places that get to experience something like this, in the state of Texas. So, uh, you know, San Antonio, San Angelo, Corpus Christi, Midland, Odessa, I and mean, this is it. So here at the Museum of the Southwest, everyone's very excited here in Midland. Picturesque day, beautiful weather, uh, very exciting, and we're getting very close to the ultimate moment we've all been waiting for. Jason Foran is out here with us as well. Jason, uh, I know I'm, I'm excited, and, and I know you are as well. Yeah, yeah, Tyler, it's very exciting out here right now. The moon and the sun are about slivers away from each other right now. Everyone out here has kind of stopped what they're doing, just looking up at the sky right now. I've seen people with special binoculars. I've seen people with special headsets. I've seen people with, I've seen people with special sunglasses, kind of like these ones I have here right now. And meanwhile, everyone is just here getting ready and waiting for this solar eclipse to happen, waiting for everything to go down here at the Museum of the Southwest. We are about inches and we are about minutes away from it right now, going down to the wire but Aurora's got a lot more coming at you right now when it comes to the eclipse what's going on out there Aurora yeah Jason you know I'm happy you guys have your protective eyewear and you know out there with everyone I know everyone is excited I'm excited here in the studio and you can also track it and look at our special viewing camera if you look over to the top of the countdown we got two minutes left just about just a little over two minutes where we're going to see that ring of fire so behind me you do see the shaded area and that's where we're going to see that path of totality a hundred percent now it's almost occurring for us even for us here in Midland and Odessa if you're in Big Spring even if you're in Andrews in areas near Albaline and San Angelo it is almost that time we got about two two minutes left now this ring of fire is what we're going to see you want to make sure you have the proper viewing eyeglasses you don't want to look at it with the bare eye because the sun is still going to be able to shine through and that's going to create the ring of fire once the moon does start to cross through so that's what you're seeing right now you're seeing that moon the darker spots in front of the sun cross over and it is going to create that ring of fire i am excited i am feeling all of the excitement from outdoors from all of you across the area i can just feel your energy here in the studio because i am getting fully excited we got less than two minutes a minute and 48 seconds left to the countdown to see that totality out there again as the moon does across the sun this is what we're waiting for that ring of fire this once in a lifetime event for some and it is going to be amazing out there we do want to remember you have your proper eyewear because once the moon does cross in front of the sun that ring of fire will still be out there and it will shine through so it is going to be amazing and i hope you all are enjoying your time we got a little over one minute until the totality now totality means we are going to see it at 100 percent for us here in the area of totality that includes albaline that includes us here in Milan and odessa in the surrounding viewing area and it also includes folks out there near big lake big spring we are definitely excited so i'm gonna go ahead and toss to the camera and we are going to take in this moment we have now reached the totality we got about 54 seconds left and this won't come around for another 23 years and let's just soak in this moment we got just about 45 seconds left
Oh my goodness, that was so exciting. I got to see the Ring of Fire with all of you all. And you know, even my family came and we saw the Ring of Fire. My son said he thought Sonic was about to come out. So hopefully you're able to join with your family and your loved ones and had a great time. We thank you all so much for sticking with us and tuning in with our streaming of this spectacular event, this annular solar eclipse we all got to experience together. And I am so happy to have done that with you all. I hope you are able to enjoy the rest of your day and then go ahead and still view it with your safety eyewear out there and as it starts to leave us. And I did use my shoe box. It was so exciting. I am so exciting. I am still excited. And I hope you all had a great time because I know I did. Thank you for joining.